Ladies and welcome back to the channel. Today we've got episode number nine of the Trevor Lawrence franchise career mode here on Madden 21, and we are now on the final stretch of the 2021 NFL season. And today will be the final episode of the regular season because we're going to be doing three different games in this episode. Currently, the Jacksonville Jaguars, the number five seed in the AFC, and they are currently tied with the Tennessee Titans. But for now, the Titans do have the tiebreaker in the AFC South. That matchup will be in week 16, and it is basically for the AFC South title. And I don't want to put anything down against this game against the Patriots right here, but this game really doesn't mean much. As long as we win next week, we will in the division. Of course, we got to get the job done in week 17, but 17, we are taking on a really Really bad Texans team and here's the AFC playoff picture as you see the Patriots are still in the hunt so we're playing a pretty good team in New England but it again this game doesn't matter if we win next week but if we don't win next week and we lose this week as well we could be out of the playoffs so we got to get the job done here second and ten for Lawrence starts off he will find Tyler Eifert as you can see the Patriots got off to a seven nothing start in this game and now it's a second and six for Lawrence from the 49 he'll look over the middle got his man it will be DJ Chark and Chark's got the first down to the 32 yard line. But now it's a third and 14 for the Jaguars. So Lawrence out the empty gun, looking to throw, rolling to his right, still looking. Lawrence gonna take off. Can he pick up the first down? He fumbles out of bounds, and now it'll set up for a Josh Lambeau field goal. It will be from 29 yards out. The Lamborghini, it is up, and oh my goodness, okay, he sneaks it through. We'll take it. It's a seven to three lead now. For the Patriots. On out of the second quarter, the Jags got a second and 11 here. LaVisca Chanel will pick up the first down. Chanel, the breakout receiver this season for the Jaguars, will pick up the first. Now the second and six for Lawrence. He'll go toss the outside to James Robinson. Robinson jumping over his own man. And Robinson will take the Jaguars all the way down to the 13. It is a gain of 22 for the running back. Now a first and 10 again for the Jags. Out the gun goes Lawrence, rolling to his right, looking. He's gonna take off Trevor Lawrence. Oh, he's gonna get all the way down the one yard line. Okay, give him the two. But now it is a first and goal for the Jaguars. Now a second and goal. Lawrence dropping back, looking to throw. Got his man, it is AB. Antonio Brown in the end zone. And the Jacksonville Jaguars have taken a 10 to seven lead over the Patriots. And don't forget, this is an Antonio Brown revenge game against the Patriots. And don't forget either, he has a whole lot of money in James Robinson. Gonna pick up the first down on the ground right there. We've got 44 seconds and down by four. Second and 10 for Lawrence over the middle. Back to AB. Antonio Brown for 21. Now it's a third and goal for the Jags. Lawrence out the gun looking. Firing left side to AB again. It is incomplete. And Josh Lambeau will come out for a 25 yard field goal. The Lamborghini's got it. And the Jags back down by one. On now to the second half. It's a second and four here for the Jaguars. Lawrence dropping back, being chased, but he finds Antonio Brown again. It has been a breakout season for Antonio Brown. His first full season back. He picks up the first down to the 21 yard line. Second and nine after the Jags. Lawrence out the gun, looking to throw, rolling to his right. Trevor Lawrence got some space. Good block from the Miska Shinong gets in. Trevor Lawrence scrambles the outside. He picks up the touchdown. And the Jaguars go up by five. And then the Patriots go score a touchdown. So the Jags back down by five with seven minutes left. Lawrence out the pocket looking deep to Chanel. And oh, on a third and 12 is incomplete. The Patriots get the football back. By the way, Cam Newton is still their quarterback. It's still a five-point game with three minutes. Trevor Lawrence needs something big here. Roll on the outside. And no, he loses the football. It's picked up by the Patriots, and that's going to end it. Yeah, I'm just going to save you the time. This game's over. Um, it's his fourth fumble again. That's the big thing with Lawrence. Like, when we run with him, even when he's getting sacked, he fumbles the football a lot. Um, so it's tough running with him. I don't really want to put Truss on him. I mean, we could, and it would probably be pretty easy to get it for him, but... I don't know. I'm going to keep it on the Zuka for now as X-Factor, or I could put it back on Gambler. I don't know. Yeah, just not our game. Uh, the Patriots will win this one by a score of 31-19. to But what I said in the open, it's this game is not do or die for the Jaguars. I mean, next week is, though, against the Titans. We need to win this Titans game to stay in the hunt for the playoffs. Even if we lose, then if we beat the Texans, we'll still probably get in. But again, we really need this game. And still, a win here against the Titans in a couple minutes will give us the AFC South title. So we just got to forget about this loss. By the way, Mercedes Lewis is still playing football in 2021 and balling out for New England. Who would have thought? But it's time for the AFC South Championship game. We can basically call it. Again, we got to win next week even with the win here. But look at the playoff picture. This is it. 
Jaguars, Titans, winner potentially wins the AFC South. Let's get into it. So, the Jaguars have it at the seven yard line to start the ball game off. Not great. Lawrence dropping back, and he's going to run straight into a sack, and he fumbles immediately. We pick it up, but just not the start you wanted. Lawrence Guy with the sack. The Titans don't score, so the Jags have the football back here at midfield. Play action fake for Trevor Lawrence. Goes upfield back to Antonio Brown. AB over the middle. Down to the 27 yard line. Give Jacksonville the first down. First and 10 again for the Jacks. Lawrence out the gun, looking to throw, sitting. Oh, he goes through Tyler Eifert and is picked off by, by a defensive end. Uh, great job, Trevor. Well, that's just great. The Titans will get the football now at the 33-yard line. Let's see what Ryan Tannehill can do with the offense, and they will score three. So the Jaguars down by three points here as James Robinson will break one to the outside. Robinson running over a man, still on his feet. Still on his feet. Okay, he should have gone down like three yards ago, but we will take it. First down for your Jacksonville Jaguars. Now a third and eight, though, for the Jags. Lawrence out the gun, looking to throw. Rolling to his right, being chased. Uh, tries for the Visca Chanel. Doesn't get close. The Titans get the football back, and they don't do anything with it. So a low-scoring game so far. First and ten for the Jags as Lawrence taking a deep drop back, looking for it all. Somehow completes it. Very unrealistic. We will take it though. LaVisca should not for the first down to the 17 yard line. 750 yards so far this season for him. Now a second and 11 for Lawrence over the mountain. The drag route to DJ Chark. Chark fighting. Oh and he gets in. We will take it. DJ Chark kicks off the scoring in this ball game for the Jacks. His fifth touchdown of the season. Puts him up by four, and we force a turnover. So we get it out the 26-yard line. Lawrence will dump it off to James Robinson. It's dropped, but it's okay. It's three points. We'll take it. Here comes Josh Lambeau, the Lamborghini, out from 43 yards. It is up, and it is good. So the Jaguars now go up by seven. The Titans return the favor with another field goal. So the Jaguars now in the second quarter up by four as A.B. on a nice out route right there. Antonio Brown. For the first down to the 46 yard line. The Jaguars will now have a second and nine from the 45 yard line. Lawrence to get out the gun, looking to throw, got time, goes right to Tyler Eifert. Lucky that wasn't picked off, and Eifert gonna pick up the first down all the way down to the 34 yard line. Now a first and 10 for the Jags. Handoff to James Robinson. Over the middle of Robinson, gonna pick up the first down and more than 23. If you've been wondering where Le'Veon Bell is at, he's still injured. He should be back for the playoffs or maybe the second round. Again, you gotta get there though. Who knows, but look at this AB! Antonio Brown, the C route, he's got it! Antonio Brown puts the Jaguars now up by 11, 17 to six, and a reminder, he's got a whole lot of money. But the Titans go kick another field goal, so they're down by eight, and that's a good interception right there. Trying to go for Antonio Brown, but Adoree Jackson gets the interception. The Titans, though, don't score. So the Jaguars now have it at 31, third nine for Lawrence, and he's gonna get sacked around the edge and the Titans are gonna get the football back again can they punch in the end zone and they get eight points oh man we have a tie game just like that here comes Jacksonville though DJ Chark gonna pick up that first down right there Trevor Lawrence has three picks not gonna talk about that one though a couple of them came from Hail Mary's but second and five now for Lawrence he's gonna find James Robinson over the middle he's got the first down to the 29 yard line here comes Jacksonville again third and ten for Lawrence dropping back Rolling to his left. Lawrence gonna take off again. Do not fumble the football. He gets down at the 11. It will now be a first and 10 for the Jags. Again, at the 11 yard line. Lawrence looking to throw. Rolling to his right. Will he take off again? I think he will. He tucks in and he gets in. Trevor Lawrence is in. He puts the Jaguars up by seven. The go ahead touchdown. And now we see can the Titans put points on the board. They don't. So the Jaguars get the ball back. Third and five. A first down win the game here. Lawrence dumps it off to James Robinson. He gets it. And the Jacksonville Jaguars have retaken the lead in the AFC South with a clutch victory over the Tennessee Titans. They kick it to field goal and then the Titans got the ball back to field goal as well. That's why it's 27-20. But no matter what, the Jaguars still won the game by seven points. And now it comes down to a crucial week 17 ball game against the Houston Texans at home back here in Jacksonville with a win you are in the clinching scenarios for the Jaguars very simple you gotta win the ball game you win the AFC South if you lose you need the Titans to lose to win the AFC South and if you lose the game the Titans win you need either a Kansas City Chiefs loss or you need a New England Patriots loss and then you get in as a wild card but let's just get the job done let's go protect home field and let's beat the Houston Texans and get a home game in the playoffs this Texans team is kind of the same they're bad again like they're always going to be 
Deshaun Watson is still here. J.J. Watt's still here. Unlike to real life where J.J. Watt's gone, Deshaun might be gone. Who knows? But here's the playoff picture. Again, it still lines us up as a wild card because we don't have as many division wins as the Titans, so that's the tiebreaker. But the win here, again, it will do it. So, the Jaguars down by seven to start us off. Third and three for Lawrence. He goes deep, and D.J. Chart comes down with it. One-on-one -on -one ball. Lawrence was 0 for 3 passing up to this point, and it's a first down for the Jags. Second and eight for Lawrence. Out the gun, dropping back. Oh my goodness, that was almost picked off. Tyler Eifert will pick it up though and get the first down. Now it's a third and 10 though for the Jacks. Lawrence out the gun looking. He's going to find James Robinson for the first down on the Texas route. And now the Jaguars have it at the 12 yard line. First and 10 for Jacksonville. That's going to be a handoff to James Robinson. Oh my goodness, get out of his way. Robinson going forward all the way down the two yard line. It's a first and goal for the Jags. Now from the two, handoff, James Robinson left side, he reaches and he gets it. James Robinson gets it and the Jaguars tie us up at seven. Think of the football back now at the six yard line though. Lawrence dropping back out of his own end zone, a third and five and he doesn't get out, he's sacked and it's a safety. So make it now a two point lead for the Houston Texans and they go score a touchdown. So Houston up by nine, Lawrence now rolling to his right, will find Antonio Brown. He's got a whole lot of money on the slant route. Brown for the first down to the 26 yard line. Now the Jags have a third and eight though from the 23. Lawrence again out the gun, looking to throw, going over top to LaVisca and Chenault will drop the football. So the Lamborghini, Josh Lambeau comes out from 40 yards and he's got it, the best kicker in football maybe. I don't know, this season has been pretty good for us. It's now a six point game in favor of the Texans. The Jaguars get the football back here with two minutes as DJ Chark again on a one on one route. There we go, the jump ball and Chark gets it. The Jags now have the football deep into Houston territory with a minute 50 left. So Lawrence again will look to throw left side. There goes DJ Chark again. They can't cover him for another first down. Now a third and 10 left for the Jags. Lawrence rolling to his right, trying to avoid JJ Watt, and Watt will get to him. So Lambo comes out yet again, another field goal from 37. The Lamborghini's got it, and the Jags back down by a 316 to 13. 30 seconds left though in the second quarter. Lawrence looking for a deep shot here. Going for it all of this because Chanel, he gets it and he's still on his feet. Chanel with the deep route of the Jaguars. Retake the lead before the half. There we go, the second year man out of Colorado. Puts the Jaguars up by four and they start off the football here in the third quarter. So Lawrence on a boot to the right side, finds his man, it's the rookie. The tight end is Pat Fearmuth. Down to the 43 yard line. The Jaguars looking to add on to this lead. First and 10 out for Lawrence. Handoff going to James Robinson. Perfect trap play right there. Robinson up the middle, picks up 13. Down out of the Houston 30 yard line. Third and seven out for the Jags. Play action fake for Lawrence. Looking, being rushed. He gets it off to Antonio Brown. It's to the outside. He picks up two yards. Not going to do much. So the Lamborghini will come out from 42 yards out. It is up and it is good. So the Jaguars go back up by seven. Can we punch it into the end zone though? Luckily for us, the Texans don't score. So we got to convert here. First and 10 for Lawrence. Big boot right side. Oh my goodness. The deep ball. He finds Chark. Look at the arm strength. All the way down from the 20 to the 19. What a ball by Lawrence. Now the Jaguars are set up at the 11 yard line though for a third and goal. Lawrence dropping back, rolling to his right, just gotta get it off. And yeah, we're gonna bring Lambeau out again. Lawrence at 300 yards, but still only one touchdown in this game. Lambeau comes out, it's a chip shot. He's got it like normal. So the Jags up by 10, but the Texans score a touchdown. So we're up by three with six minutes left, and oh my goodness, risky pass. LaVisca Chanel comes down with it, and we can move the chains to the 43. But now it's a third and 10 for Lawrence. Dropping back, looking to throw. Rolling to his right, will Lawrence take off? He will. Oh my goodness, he's running so slow. Does he get there though? Gotta get the spot. Oh, he's down fourth and inches. What will the Jags do? Of course, you gotta keep the offense on the field, right? Fourth and inches, James Robinson gets it. First down for the Jaguars with three minutes, 54 seconds left to play. Now third and nine though for the Jags, two minutes to go. Lawrence being rushed, he's gotta get it off, deep shot. Oh, to go into AB, but it's dropped. And Lambo will come out again to make it a six point game to 43 yarder, it's up and it's good. But a touchdown can win the game here for the Texans. We will see, let's sim cast it. The Texans driving down the Jacksonville 47. We get a sack, third and 15, fourth and 15, and we sack him again. And the Jaguars are a first down away from winning the ball game. Lawrence, handoff, Robinson, got it. And that's your ball game. 
the Jacksonville Jaguars are going to win the AFC South. And they are going to be the number two seed. Okay, somehow it's just daytime again. Thanks, Madden. Some of the sun's just back up. How does that make sense? Oh, okay. The Jacksonville Jaguars, though, will get the job done against the Houston Texans. Oh, it's dark again. Thanks. Um, they will get the job done, and they are now the two seed in the AFC playoffs, where they will take on the New England Patriots again. The Patriots will come back to Jacksonville like they played in Week 15, and the Jaguars are definitely hoping for some revenge. There is your playoff picture. The seeding the AFC goes one Cleveland, two Jacksonville, three Buffalo, four Las Vegas, five Tennessee, six Baltimore, and seven New England. I'm not going to read out the AFC side, but it's there if you want to see it. So, folks, be on the lookout for episode number 10 of the Trevor Lawrence career mode here on the channel. It will be the wild card round against Bill Belichick, Cam Newton, and the New England Patriots. We gotta take on the boogeyman, that amazing defense. So folks, if you have not yet, make sure to subscribe button down below for more and Mamba forever.